one nerves list of ten sexiest indie male artists. Uh, yeah. Were one, you pissed that you weren't number one? Were you yeah, surprised yeah. you were on the list? Yeah, Tell me I about broke. That. I smashed my favorite guitar <laughs> when I read it. My manager sent me that. I said, why did you send me that? So I smashed that out. And I sent an email to the company and said, why didn't I win this? Well, yeah, I'm still discovering because, as you know, it, like city to city changes so much here in the US, but um, I've really been enjoying Chicago. So I want to come back. We're coming back in September. Looking forward to that. Um, New York, I always love. So looking forward to that. We're going back in September. My first time to San Francisco in a few days. I can't wait to see San Francisco. Um, back to Austin. I'll see that again. It'll be good to see Austin and outside South by Southwest. Um, so quite a few places. I'm still learning more about America. The best places to go. Missouri might be good. I don't know. Is that good, Missouri? The main thing I learned from being around Adele, really, was that you need to, it's okay and it's the best way to do things, is to do what you feel to do in your gut, not what everyone else is doing or telling you to do. And, and just be yourself as well. How you see her on TV, on interviews, is, is really how she is in real life. So, you know, she's just really funny, like, really uh, interesting, just quite funny and laid back. She'll make you laugh, like, a lot. That really taught me quite a lot. So, so you know, sometimes coming into this business, you feel that you need to put on airs and graces, but you don't. You know, you just need to be kind of honest and true to who you are, and then, and that's that will stand you in good stead. Or at least you can be massive or small, but at least you'll be happy.